Aloha and welcome to the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection. I am your guest host, Keisha King. I'm sitting in for Gwendolyn Harris, who had to be out today. My guest today is a producer, engineer, singer, and musician. His most recent musical CDs called Swanky are tributes to the classic songs from the jazz age and the great American songbook from the 1920s to the 1940s. My guest has performed and recorded with multi-Grammy award-winning producers, engineers, Al Schmidt, the great London players, and studio arts from Los Angeles and Honolulu, including Pierre Grill, Dwayne Padilla Emmett, Mahoney, and Janai. Janai was supposed to be with us today, and we're so sorry that she couldn't. But he's also recorded with the great British jazz players from Brian Ferry's band. My guest has been performing with his swanky band in London, Honolulu, Los Angeles, and San Francisco, all of the major cities throughout the U.S. Please welcome with me Patrick Von Wiegant to the show. Aloha, Patrick. Hi. Thank you so much. Oh, well, you are very welcome and so deserving. You've done a lot, a lot, a it lot. It sounds like a lot when you put it up there, but it does. I, somehow it sounds like you're reading about somebody else. Right? <laughs> so oh, that's not man, really it's me. all it's you. Really, it yeah. is all you, and it's all about you today. Uh -oh. We are really going to celebrate all you've done as a musician. We're going to celebrate what you've done as a producer. Oh, and stop I just, it. Oh, yeah, there's my more. Head's, my head's starting to get, you know, <laughs> I'll need a bigger hat size by the time I'm oh, done no, with no, this. Oh, no, 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 no. You deserve all the accolades that you've gotten, and certainly this discussion today, I'm looking forward to it. I want to jump right in with your new CD. Thank Tell you. us about Swanky. First of all, Where'd you come up with that name? Oh, who doesn't like the word swanky? I like it. Everybody loves it. Uh -huh. uh, and actually, when I came up with it, uh, about 10 or 15 years ago, I'd always flirted with the idea. Uh -huh. And I started telling my friends, you know, hey, what about swanky? And they're like, yeah, it's great. Everybody loves it. I looked it up. Nobody was doing it. Nobody mm. was, a, there was no swanky band. There's some swanky stuff. But mm -hmm. so um, I had been working with some friends here, mm -hmm. the Hot Club of Hulaville, great okay. band, great guys. And they were doing the old style stuff. Uh -huh. And I and I was doing the old style stuff, and I just thought, you know, that that just felt right. So I called yeah. the first album Swanky, mm -hmm. and people clicked on, and then they'd call me up, hey, Swanky, you know, and yeah. sh Swanky, Swanky. Right. <laughs> so now it's I'm on the fourth or fifth album, and so I'm I've built the brand in a sense. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what you're required to do. Once you come up with something good, you've got to build a brand around it, right? And it sounds like you've done that. And this particular CD, you're going into a wonderful fun, swanky era, the 1920s to the 1940s. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, this, the brand new CD is called Swanky Sings Fats Waller. Mm -hmm. I, by the way, I didn't know I was building a brand, and I really wasn't. I, that, all that stuff of branding and all that uh -huh. kind of stuff, uh -huh. it's like, don't. That's, yeah. I hate that stuff. Right, right. I, I love playing music with my friends. I mm -hmm. love producing music. I love being in the studios. I've lived in studios for 40 years, so oh, wow. I love being in there and making records. Yeah. The swanky thing has grown, and it's sort of like, all right, take the ride with it, uh -huh. and then play with it. And, mm -hmm. and so people call me up, and they send me notes, hey, swanky and swanky. So, so now uh, I go out and build as Patrick Von Wiegand and the swanky band, or Patrick mm -hmm. Von Wiegand and swanky. Mm -hmm. People get it right away. They yeah. can jump onto it, and they love it. Yeah. The new one I, I decided to call Swanky Sings Fats Waller Songs, okay. Yeah. because I love the Fats Waller music. And yes. I had been working on that for a long time, and then... I was like, all right, let's 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 get these songs together. And I uh, got together with a, a lot of familiar people. Janai, I called her right away. Yeah. I called Pierre Grill right away. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, I had been working with the guys in London over there. I called them and said, yeah. hey, would you work with me on this? And they all said yes, of course. And uh, yeah. I got very lucky. Well, I think you you know you're doing fun music, and it's certainly really a good time. So I don't anticipate anybody saying no. Right. And if they did, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, right? well, you know, it is fun, though. And people like playing with swanky. Yes. People people like, you know, I say, get dressed up or, or think, you know, think that style, you know, mm -hmm. go, go old school. Yeah. You know, um, certainly there's a, wonder, a lot of wonderful new music and all that. Uh, yeah. It doesn't interest me nearly mm -hmm. as much as this stuff. Yeah. You know, my mom turned me on. My mom and dad turned me on to Fats Waller when I was a kid. And mm -hmm. I was like. That stuff is crazy. Yeah. And then, uh, and, and I certainly can't play it. You tell me you're a player. I used to. So uh, we're not going to go there because my grandmother is going to be so upset. She'll rise from her grave and just get so upset because I was classically trained as a piano, pianist 
and she's probably upset I never made it to uh, Carnegie Hall, or at least Alicia Keys. But, uh-huh. Uh-huh. but that's something Grandma, from my past. We, Grandma, no, we're not. We're not even going to call on her. No, nope, 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 We're not going to. No, but we're here to talk about you. Mm-hmm. I want to get into one of the songs that you've chosen for us to listen to from your new CD, and we're going to talk about why you chose Fred Waller to pay tribute to. So let's get into that. If our engineers are ready, let's go ahead and listen to a little bit from Swanky with tributes, nineteen twenties to nineteen forties. Right? Yes. Let's do it. If I should take a notion to jump into the ocean, taint nobody's business if I do. Rather than persecute me, I choose that you should shoot me. Taint nobody's business if I do. Well, you can talk, you can rave, say awful things about me. I don't care what you say, go on your way if you tell me. Cause if I go to church on Sunday, then party down on Monday. Ain't ain't nobody's nobody's business if I do. Because that is Janai yes. singing yes. that so that song with you, her yeah. solo. She said that's a higher range for her. Oh, that was very high. And she she looked at me when I said I'm doing it in this key. She you know, she gave me the kind of not the stink eye, but mm-hmm. like you're gonna make me work the like look. this. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, you're gonna make me do this, and she can do it. She's great in the studio. Yes, I, I work with her in the studio. We've done many albums together, and mm-hmm. uh, and we've worked here. We've worked in London at Abbey oh, wow. Road Studios. Oh wow! And uh, at Capitol Studios in in Hollywood. And, oh uh, nice! And I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of studio cats. She's and she's amongst the tops. You know, she's yeah. right up there. So. But when when I played her in this key, I said I have to sing in this key. She goes, so she went rather than persecute me, but, and she did an amazing job. Yeah, but then she got down into the zone there. Yes, and this, she you did. Know, yeah, yes, she did. It yeah. all sounded beautiful and yeah. very fun, and I love you know I I love that era too. Yeah. I love to hear it every now and then. So I love the album co- cover. I saw the little picture there yeah, of yeah, Fats yeah. Waller. Yeah, it looks well, like you were I, paying yeah. homage. I wanted to pay homage to the great man. You know, it's like I, I just uh, I had been playing these songs. I have a friend in L.A. who plays these songs on guitar. Oh wow! He's he's the greatest Fats guy I know. Fred uh-huh. Sokolo. He mm-hmm. knows them all. He knows every part of all the songs, and he knows mm-hmm. the intros and everything. And, and when I do a song, he says, "You're going to do the introduction." I go, "No, I'm just cutting in at the chorus." And uh-huh. but uh, he he introduced me to a lot of these songs too, and and has been a good proponent for me. And then we were putting a lot of them together, and I was just like, I had enough. And I played the Fats records in the car all the time. I said, all right, it's time. It's time. Yeah. It's time. Well, you did a good job. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. And what I liked um, about that cover, just going back, you were paying homage to him. And then you actually had on the attire to match, even with the hat tilted to the side. Yes. Yes. Have you got any feedback on that yet? I tell you, one of my friends, one of my friends, a wise guy said, "I see the resemblance between you and Fats. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. You know, like you look very similar." I'm like, "Thank you." Yeah, yeah it's so. a very obvious identical yeah. twin mix-up. Yeah, yeah. But, but he was he was 
Yeah, I take it as a compliment. As a compliment, I'm totally, sure. Totally, totally. Yes. And I was careful not to put my hands on the piano because it's mm -hmm. like I didn't want to imply that I could play the thing because I can't. Mm -hmm. and, and I was messing around doing stuff and I said, no, no, you know. Yeah. So uh, and I did the cigar and that. It was, yeah. It's just fun. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the whole point of the record, too, it really is fun. Yes. That was, that's was nothing if fun, you know. It's right. not fun. Right, so, exactly. So. And, and all of his music exudes fun. And then, of course, here you come all these many years later, and you're doing the exact same thing. You look like Mr. Excitement to me. Uh -oh. So I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So now, I know you mentioned a few already. Tell us a, a little bit more about some of the people that you've actually had the opportunity to collaborate with. And then give us your wish, wish list. Who would you like to collaborate with? Oh, that's Ooh. a good one. Um, <laughs> I, I really feel... I feel very lucky, and I say, you know, you hear that, I'm lucky and blessed. I really mm -hmm. am. Uh, I sort of like feel like I, I didn't stumble into this, but I, I've been stumbling upwards, I think. Okay. And I've been working. Uh -huh. So I, I have a pretty decent work ethic. So when I get into, you know, when I got into it, I started to work. But mm -hmm. I really didn't start singing this jazz, the old stuff, until singing it seriously until about 10 or 15 years ago. Well, that's not very long ago. No. Yeah. No. And you know what? I, I want to stop right there and just kind of reiterate the point that you just said, especially for our younger musicians. You said, I stumbled forward. Right. So first of all, don't fall back and lay flat on your back. Right. And then also, you had some luck coupled with a lot of hard work. I, I, and I've, I've always thought the, a, a good formula for success, I always say, is like, uh, a third talent, a mm -hmm. third uh, hard work, and mm -hmm. a third luck. Right. But if you have more in any of those areas, mm -hmm. you can you can compensate. Yeah. Uh, I just I had always been playing in bands and mm -hmm. uh, playing with friends, and I'd been in the studio making mm -hmm. records. I loved mm -hmm. I just loved every part of it. Right. When I was a kid, my parents encouraged us, and uh, I saw the Beatles on TV, and I said yeah. I'm going to do that. Oh, and wow. then I got into the studios, and you know, and I got into bands and studios and such, and. But I was, I never really, I try to sing a little bit, but uh, every, you might notice I'm not a tenor. So uh, <laughs> all the songs are done, you know, by tenors and that. Yeah. So, and a bunch of friends really helped me. They said, you know, you change the keys. Do you don't have to sing in the key. To, right. I don't have to sing in Fats' key. Yeah. You know, you'd think yeah. Fats is a baritone. He's not. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like he sings up there. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, I can't sing there. I can't sing that mm -hmm. thing in E flat. So mm -hmm. it's like I bumped it over to A flat. I was like. Holy it works cow. for you. And uh, all these people who I mentioned earlier, uh -huh. uh, Pierre, Dwayne, Sonny, uh, Janai, all these people encouraged me and pushed me and said, you know, okay, change the key, do that, do this. Mm -hmm. And then that really lit my brain up. And yeah. then, you know, I was like, oh, I can do any of these songs now. Yes. You know? Or not any, because there's some that are very hard. But, mm -hmm. but I found that I had a range. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Neva Rego, who was okay. a great teacher here. A lot of people knew her. Mm -hmm. And she helped me. She said, look, you, 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 know, you don't have a huge range, but just find where it fits. Mm -hmm. and, then, and it was like, okay, and do stuff you love. Yeah. So um, that's pretty much been the journey over the last 10 or 15 years. Mm -hmm. I have a great friend in California, Harry Donahue. Nobody mm -hmm. knows him, okay. uh, but Harry and Valerie Donahue, we, all this music came out of their house because we'd go up to his house. We were in a choir together. Oh, wow. He played piano, I played bass. Uh -huh. He'd say, come up to my house and we'll play some music. And, uh -huh. and the first one we did was... Um, Give me a kiss to build a dream on, Ooh. and my imagination will thrive upon that kiss. Uh, the, the Louis Armstrong. Okay. And we started with that and then worked up, and then, you know, 10, 15 years later, you got a bunch of songs. So, yeah. so that really birthed the whole swanky thing. And then now once I do it, people call. Uh, I'll get a lot of friends who will say, hey, you should do this song. Try that song. Uh -huh. Or, oh, yeah, I think this would be good for you. Yeah. And, and I've it. gotten a lot of songs that way, you know. Good for you. You know. So this is a good place to stop right here. We're going to take a very quick break. And when we come back, we're going to spend more time with my new friend, Patrick, and his album, Swanky, the tribute to Fats Waller. We'll be right back after this break. Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines. I was the head coach for the Punahou Boys varsity tennis team for 22 years, and we we're fortunate to win 22 consecutive state championships. This show is based on my book, which is also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about leadership, creating a superior culture of excellence, achieving and sustaining success, and finding greatness. If you're a student, parent, sports or business person, and want to improve your life and the lives of people around you, tune in and join me on Mondays at 11 a.m. as we go beyond the lines on Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha. Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner. 
inviting you to join us on Wednesdays at 1 o'clock for Cannabis Chronicle, the 10,000 year odyssey, where we take a look at cannabis as food, cannabis as medicine, cannabis and religion, and cannabis and dear old Uncle Sam. So please join us to learn all about cannabis. Again, Wednesdays at 1 o'clock. I thank you. Aloha and welcome back to the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection. I am your guest host, Keisha King, and today we've been having a great time with Peter Von Wiegandt, and we've been talking about his newest album or CD. See, I'm a little bit older too, I right? Like it. Okay. Okay. But we all knew what I meant. We're talking about his latest project. How about that? Okay, the swanky tributes to Fats Waller. We're looking at the 1920s to the 1940s. We're jumping right into that CD. Ah, I loved it. So the first song we heard a little bit earlier, Ain't Nobody's Business, was you and Janai. Correct. And she was singing in a higher range, and it sounded amazing, yeah. right? Because I've seen her. I've seen her a couple of times live. Right. And she has an amazing voice, amazing yeah. range, right. right? I feel it when she sings it. I have a great time. Right. This one surprised me. Different. I've never heard her sing this era. She right. she got squeezed on it, and yeah. uh, uh, you know, we, she she didn't put the kibosh on it. She, she didn't say don't do it. So, right, right. But, but like I said, she say, killed it, it yeah. as they would say today. She yeah. killed it. She did an amazing job, yeah. and I loved every bit of it. I love what you did. This is my yeah. first time hearing you, so it was a joy and a pleasure to get to know some new music, right, Co or a new artist. Thank you. Right, you're no, welcome. Thank you. The pleasure has been all yeah. mine. I want to jump into the next song, and then I've got more questions. Is that all right? Oh, I love it. Awesome. All right, this next one we're going to play. Why don't you give us the intro? Look right here, camera through. Uh, right there. Yep. Right there. It's called "Sweet and Slow," and Fats did it. I don't. He didn't write it. I don't think. Um, I, I could be wrong. I should know all this because I just wrote out all the credits. But it's called "Sweet and Slow," and it's been covered by a lot of people. I hope you enjoy. And slow, rock -a by me to and fro while the band is moaning low. Honey, take your time. Sweet and slow, we ain't got no place to go. We ain't going to Buffalo. Second place sounds like somebody's been hitting the hooch. Sweet and slow, while these lights are burning low. Oh, honey, I know we can make it if we take it. Sweet but slow. I love it. So you were listening to Sweet and Slow. Ooh, it was Sweet and Slow. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very, um, you know, swanky song. <laughs> it, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> and it's, 
it's uncharacteristically, I th from the Fats version, he, he plays with a little bit, because he, he always teases in songs. He, you mm -hmm. know, he, mu he mugs a lot and mm -hmm. you know, does a lot of goofy stuff. And this one, he keeps it pretty straight. Yeah. And I wanted to keep it pretty straight, but I, mm -hmm. threw, I had to throw in the lines, you know. Yeah. You know. yeah. I like the lyrics, though, but there's a lot of reference to animals. We're talking about the rabbit and the hare and the buffalo. Well, they were, you know, they were referencing popular fairy tales and stuff, right? All right, I mean, right, right. You know, right. The, the, the rabbit and the race, you know, mm -hmm. the turtle and the rabbit. Mm -hmm. It's like, who writes that stuff? Right, right. You know, I mean, the guys in the 20s and 30s were writing that stuff. Yeah. And I, I think it's funny. I mentioned um, my friend Fred Socolow, mm -hmm. and we were playing a few fat songs, and he has um, Shuffle Off to Buffalo and Going to Buffalo a couple mm -hmm. times. And I said, right. Well, who's writing about buffalo anymore? Right, that's why I mentioned it. It, it was a good rhyming word, you know. <laughs> you know we got no place to go. We ain't going to buffalo. I was like, okay, okay. it yeah. works, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It works. If it works, put it in there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. Well, now we. I kind of asked this question a little bit earlier, and you skated away from it. So I want to go back. Either dead or alive, Ooh. who would you like to work with that you haven't already? You know, when you said that, and I've had I had a few seconds to think about it. It scares the heck out of me to think about, you know, the playing with fats. Yeah, no, these well, fats. I, you know, I he wouldn't have me on the stage. I don't no, think. You don't no, think so? I, don't, I don't. You know, and that's where I, I go into that that insecurity of like. Yeah. But who would? Mm -hmm. Who am I, my dream? Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you know. Uh, you know, I wanted to be in the Beatles. I wanted to be in the Stones. You uh -huh, know, uh -huh. and, and, and that kind of stuff. Um, there's a few wonderful jazz singers out there. Um, well, I, I feel like I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Singing with Janai, it's mm -hmm. like how you know that's is, is right up there. Yes. Hey, you know, I'd like to sing with some famous people, but that's my ego talking. Uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. You know, um, right now you, you know you, blah, 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 you got me yeah. babbling here. Yeah. It's like, you know, I right. feel like I am playing with the people I really want to. Yes, and I'm able. You know, the the swanky the the swanky uh, album that we did in London at Abbey Road. Mm -hmm. uh, I had the world famous Abbey Road. The world famous Abbey, the Beatles studio. We went into yes. Studio Two, and wow. before we went over there, before we went over, I contact. I had heard um, Brian Ferry, who you had mentioned at the beginning. Yeah, Brian Ferry is a very famous old uh, British uh, rocker, okay. but who loves jazz, mm -hmm. and he's done these wonderful jazz albums. And my friends turned me on to him. I was like, Oh my lord! I said, I want to play with those guys. Mm -hmm. There you go. So I contacted him. I sent him a note. I found mm -hmm. him on Facebook, and I sent him a note, and I said, hey, I'm coming over here. I sent him some videos and some clips from our Capitol Studio mm -hmm. record that, you know, it's like, it has a little cred, yes. you know, so it's like, oh, yeah, and, and I sent him a note saying, um, I'd love to, you know, we're um, coming over. I booked, I booked the studio. I booked London. I booked Abbey Road, and then I said, I'd love to get you guys to play on it. Mm -hmm. He sent me a note back saying, we'd love to. Awesome. And I was like, oh, my Lord, I'm in heaven. And then I told Janai, I said, uh, I'm going to go to London and do Abbey Road. She goes, I'm coming. I said, I know. I, I said, I know. Like, I went in on that. Yes. Yeah. She says, yeah, you know, yeah. And uh, we had a blast. Mm -hmm. She came, you know, we had a blast. And she lit up the room. Those guys lit up. Mm -hmm. We had uh, Martin Wheatley. Ooh. If you look on all of the um, Downton Abbey and all mm -hmm. those um, TV shows with the old British things, yeah. every time you see a guitar player, that's mm -hmm. Martin Wheatley. Wow. He's in all of those, and Colin Good, the pianist, and uh, um, um, uh, Paul Moylan on bass, and a young guy, Mezclo, on drums. Mm -hmm. We then met a guy, Wayne um, McIntyre, the engineer, vocalist, clarinetist, and I've become very good friends with him, mm -hmm. and now we've done three or four albums worth of material over there. And so we you don't have live. to wish for the greats, because you've already played with some of the best, and you're still playing with some of the best. I pinch so, myself. I yeah, really do. You really are very, very fortunate and blessed. What would you say to up-and-coming musicians, especially those who are yet still in school, with all of the different things that are happening with music and the arts, even though we do have some of the arts still in our schools? Right. What would you say to an up-and-coming musician who I wanted say, to break? Well, keep playing and keep playing with people. Keep playing. Uh, go out and play live with people. Yeah. Uh, go out and push yourself. Ask people to sing. Mm -hmm. uh, I've gotten to where now, like, when I go to a place, I was in New York last week, I went to Shea Josephine, oh my. the uh, Josephine Baker, Baker uh -huh. restaurant that yeah. her son, her adopted son opened. Mm -hmm. Well, I went over there, to, I was working close by and I just, I knew there would be some hot jazz in there and I brought a couple CDs. And I went over to the piano player and shook, my, shook his hand and said, oh, I love your stuff. And I put my CDs on the table and showed him on the piano and I said, hey, I'm doing this kind of stuff. 
And I sat down, and a couple minutes later, he's playing songs from the CDs. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> and he came over to me, and he said, mm -hmm. I didn't ask him, and he came over. He said, hey, well, you want to sing a few? I said, oh, yeah, sure. So, <laughs> but other times, I'll go up and ask directly. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been encouraged to do that. So I say to young people, um, learn, play. You have to play alone a lot. You have to practice. Mm -hmm. you, know, uh, not, you know, all of us have to practice. Um, mm -hmm. I've been practicing singing. I sing in the car. I sing at home. I work on it. I change keys. Um, keep doing that. Mm -hmm. But get out of your comfort zone, and it's hard. Yes. It's a, it's, it's, I'm, I'm always afraid, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of times it's like, you know, to walk into a place where these hot people are playing and you're yeah. going, you know, your, your head saying, I don't belong here. I don't want, you know, and then yeah. you go step over the line and just yeah. go up and say, hi, I like your stuff. Yeah. They're there. And most of, most all the musicians will give you a shot. Yeah. You know? Because it's, it's a community, right? It's a, it's a it tight is. community of people who love what they do. And they certainly, all of you all love to inspire. Um, and I think it's because you've been inspired by others oh, before you, so it's reciprocal. So one last question before I let you go today, because look, we've had so much fun and time is already gone. I'm not done. I have an hour's yeah, worth. I have an extra hour to go. Yeah, more stories, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got more. I want to hear about Abbey Road and oh, all Abbey that Road good stuff, cool. right? But what do you have coming up next? Are there any tours coming up? Uh, uh, right now, this literally, this album just came out this oh. week. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. And it's on the World Wide Web. It's on all the streaming services. Okay. Uh, on Spotify, Apple, all uh, Music, right. all that, uh, Pandora all right. and all that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm promoting that. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to uh, Los Angeles, and I'll be, I'm going to Nashville. I'm playing in Nashville. Oh, yeah. I'm playing with some guys in L.A. We're playing in some small places. Mm. And I'm um, planning on going back to Abbey Road yes. in, in November. I right. love the studio. Yeah. It's a wonderful studio. And... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it just feels comfortable. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not as expensive as you'd think. It oh, really yeah? isn't. Okay. You just have to go over there. And plus, I like the guys, and, and I've got some gigs over there. So yeah. I've been building a little reputation. Yeah. You know. Good. And it's, you know, I got very lucky. Um, I met um, Giles Martin, Paul, uh, George Martin's son, who's taken over the Beatle Empire. Oh, nice. So he's doing all the production of all the Beatle stuff now, yeah. and he's doing movies and Rocket Man and all oh, kinds of stuff. And, okay. he's do, it, and so he was in the studio. He uses Abbey Road all the time. And so mm -hmm. he, was all, he was asking me all about my record and all that stuff. And, you know, he came into the room and everything. It was like, very cool, you know. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, so, you know, that kind of stuff happens. And you're mm -hmm. like, wow, you know, you know I'm, I'm hanging around, you know, some good, some good players, you know, yeah. some, some good musicians. And, yeah. and it's fun to encourage other people. It's just, yeah. you know. There's a young gal, by the way, I'll be quick. Her name is Ella Grace. She's on this record. Okay. I've been singing with her for the last five years. She's now 16. Oh, wow. And her parents are studio musicians. Yeah, I've heard that name somewhere. Well, she did... uh, I, she's going to be, she's going to be, I think she'll be very famous. And she's yeah. named after Ella Fitzgerald. Beautiful. She's a little blonde girl from the Valley. Her mom and dad <laughs> are, are um, um, uh, studio cats yeah. in L.A. But she's a sweetheart. And we're doing... Um, I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter on this record. Ooh, sweet. Yeah. So you've heard it. You've heard all of it. All the good stories and all the good music can be found on Peter Von Wigant. Patrick. 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 That's <laughs> twice. We, twice. <laughs> twice I did that. <laughs> Edit, gotcha. cut, whatever you want no, to say. No, no, no. Oh, no. my gosh. Patrick, 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 Patrick <laughs> Von Wigant. Keisha, Keisha, Keisha. Yep, yep, yeah. yep, yep. Find his CD, Swanky. Swanky pays tribute to Fats Waller. I love it. We've had a lot of fun today right here on the Hawaii Smooth Jazz Connection with me, Keisha King, your guest host. Someone will see you next time. Keisha, Patrick, Mark, Peter, Paul, John, and Mary. All of us. See ya. Aloha. <laughs> Ringo.